Hey guys, Nick Hutchinson with Marine Max Clearwater here. Today I want to show you through this brand new 2020 Boston Whaler 345 Conquest that just came in. Uh, this thing is really loaded up, almost every option that you can get on this boat. Starting at the stern, we've got triple Mercury Verados finished in white, underwater lighting, trim tabs, uh, pretty much everything you expect on a boat like this. Coming on board, we've got lots of convertibility here in the, uh, in the aft section seats that fold up into the gunnels so that you can have nice open area for fishing uh, or leave them in their current uh, position put a table there down in the center and have a nice little area to socialize here under the sunshade at the end of the day um, also our port seating here is convertible so you can face it even either forward or aft right now it's facing aft we do have a footrest that comes out but currently we've got the grill pulled out so I can show you. On top is a cut, cutting board that flips up with your electric grill there underneath and even a storage spot for your utensils. Give it a push and it's stowed nice and quick. There's our footrest as well for when you're rearward facing here, turn into a nice little social zone. Uh, back to starboard here, we've got a built-in little drink ice cooler sink, refrigerator, and a built-in garbage as well. Before we go further forward here, I want to come up around the side and show you all the other features that we have on this. Looking up on top on the hard top here, this boat did come with uh, the outriggers. Um, even the outriggers themselves are down below. VHF installed, full open array radar, floodlight, and even on the bow, we've got lots of room for uh, lounging out in the sun and uh, triple windshield wipers. Even a windlass built in on the pulpit up here. Tons of area to walk around. Um, lots of grab handles while you're, while you're walking through the boat. So when you're out, out in the sea, moving around, very comfortable. Uh, another thing I like on this particular build is the half glass with the Isinglass enclosure, especially being down here in Florida. Nice to be able to have that extra breeze in the summer. As we pass through there, you saw the uh, rod holders. We've got six rocket launchers on the sides. So when you're out there trolling with your downriggers, you've got plenty of space to keep everything. So now walking up into the cockpit here, you can see we've got lots of uh, ventilation here. Even your center window opens up, the big long center one there air conditioning both at the uh, port seating as well as at the helm. Twin Raymarine 12 inch chart plotters, Mercury vessel view, independent man uh, engine management system that's a standalone so you don't flip back and forth on your chart plotters. Joystick piloting uh, which is differentiated from the Yamaha system because it's a true piloting system that you can use at speeds not just a docking system. This links into your autopilot uh, your heading control, and you even have skyhook and drift hook built in there as well. Uh, even your VHF system there is a wireless handheld that docks onto a wireless charging dock. All right, let's head downstairs. Got a very large, beautiful V berth here that converts at just a touch of a button. Everything is power and folds together. Port side, we have our little kitchenette. Microwave, single burner, cooktop, another fridge, and uh, of course a sink. Right behind that, got a full wet head, stand up, plenty of room in there. I'm 6'2 and I have plenty of room to stand up in there. Moving aft, we've got our mid berth. This is probably the biggest bed in the uh, boat, bigger than the V berth up front there. Great lighting, great ventilation, you've got your own AC vents back down in there. Um, as well as your own stereo. And then finally moving back to starboard here. Big seating area which also can sleep an extra person. Awesome rod holders. You've got space here to hold six rods so that they're downstairs uh, out of the elements and lockable so when your boat's sitting there at port you don't have to worry about anybody taking them. Um, and then finally we've got a, a TV mounted in here right above the uh, switch panel. If you guys have any other questions about this amazing boat uh, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. My information is right there below. I'm happy to help. 